bridges, more than meets the eye. You ever drive across a bridge and think about the people who actually built the damn thing? Me too. We all take bridges for granted. They just sort of stand there, connecting point A to point B. But the truth is, bridges are marvels of engineering. I'm talking blood, sweat, and rivets kind of marvels. The kind of projects that require a ton of ingenuity, hard work, and a healthy disregard for heights. So, if you've ever wondered how these things go from blueprints to reality, buckle up. We're about to break down the step-by-step -step process of building a bridge, dirty job style. Planning and design, the blueprint to success. Before a single shovel hits the dirt, you gotta have a plan. Engineers, they're like the architects of the bridge world. They study the lay of the land, figure out how much weight the bridge needs to hold, and what materials will stand the test of time. And let me tell you, these guys are sticklers for safety. They run simulations, test different designs, all to make sure that bridge can handle whatever mother nature throws at it. Because when you're talking about a structure this big, failure is not an option. Site preparation and foundation work, where the rubber meets the road or riverbed. With the plan in place, it's time to get dirty. This is where the heavy equipment rolls in. Bulldozers, excavators, you name it. They clear the site, prep the ground, and then comes the really important part, the foundation. Think of it like this. You wouldn't build a house on a sandcastle, right? Same goes for a bridge. Engineers have to make sure that foundation is rock solid, literally. They drive piles deep into the earth, sometimes hundreds of feet to reach bedrock. Because a shaky foundation means a shaky bridge, and nobody wants that. Pier and abutment construction, the backbone of the beast. Now we're talking about the heavy lifting. Piers, those are the massive vertical supports that rise up out of the water or ground. They carry the weight of the entire bridge deck, so they gotta be strong. We're talking reinforced concrete steel, the whole nine yards. And then you've got your abutments, which are like the bookends of the bridge. They support the ends of the deck and connect it to the road on either side. It's like building a giant Lego set, only with a lot more sweat and safety regulations. Superstructure construction connecting the dots. This is where the bridge really starts to take shape. Depending on the type of bridge, engineers use different methods to build the superstructure. That's the part that spans the distance between the piers. You've got your beam bridges, your arch bridges, your suspension bridges, each with their own unique challenges. For suspension bridges, those massive cables are strung across the towers, and then the deck is literally hung from them. It's mind-boggling how they get those cables up there. Deck installation and road surface, paving the way. With the main structure in place, it's time to make it roadworthy. This is where the concrete mixers come in, pouring the deck slab that forms the road surface. They lay down asphalt, install guardrails, put in lighting, all the things that make a bridge safe and functional for us regular folks. And let me tell you, getting that road surface perfectly smooth is an art form in itself. Final testing and safety inspection, no room for error. Before any bridge is open to the public, it goes through rigorous testing. Engineers want to be absolutely sure that thing can handle the load. They bring in heavy trucks, sometimes even tanks, to simulate traffic. They check for any signs of stress, any movement, anything that's even slightly off. Because when it comes to bridges, safety is non-negotiable. Opening and maintenance, the never-ending story. Finally, the big day arrives, the bridge is open, traffic flows, horns honk, everybody's happy, but the work doesn't stop there. Bridges require constant upkeep. Think of it like a car, you gotta change the oil, rotate the tires, keep things running smoothly. Inspectors check for cracks, corrosion, any potential problems. So, next time you're driving across a bridge, take a minute to appreciate the engineering marvel you're on. From the initial planning to the final inspection, it's a testament to human ingenuity and hard work. And remember, behind every bridge, there's a team of dedicated people who made it all possible. They might not wear ties, but they're the ones who keep us connected, one bridge at a time. Now get out there and explore the world, and don't forget to thank a bridge builder. And that's how bridges are built, connecting us in ways we never imagined. Which bridge amazes you the most? Comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights.